uh, after uh, that uh, exciting videos and all uh, this is a again a uh, theoretical topic so i'll be talking on medical management in uh, pregnant and pediatric patients slides please huh. So uh, first I will talk about the pregnancy and lactation. Uh, before uh, delving into the topic, uh, this uh, classification is actually uh, required, the FDA classification from category A to category X. The category A is, is uh, safety established in human studies. The drugs who uh, are safe in human studies. Category B is those uh, which shows uh, safety in animal models, but there is no human studies. Uh, Brimonidine is a drop in category B. And uh, category C is uncertainty uh, 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 uncertain safety in uh, uh, human studies and animal show studies showing uh, definite uh, adverse effect. So uh, maximum drops are in uh, category C, beta blockers, CAI, PG analogs and meiotics. Category D is unsafe uh, and evidence uh, of it is there is in uh, certain clinical uh, circumstances and category X is definitely unsafe. So we are lucky that we don't have any anti-glaucoma medications in category D and category X. So. Uh, uh, most drops are in category C and Brimonidine is in category B. I will discuss uh, each and every drops, uh, uh, drugs. The beta blockers uh, can cross the placental barrier and it can risk in uh, fetal bradycardia and cardiarrhythmia. Uh, so we are uh, very uh, uh, skeptical about using uh, beta blockers, but uh, obstetrician are uh, randomly giving uh, oral beta blockers for hypertension in pregnancy. Alpha 2 agonists are most safest drops, but it can cause CNS depression and apnea uh, when transferred through the placenta so, uh, or in newborn through breast milk. So it should be discontinued just uh, before the uh, labor. Uh, carbonic anhydrase in, uh, inhibitors uh, should be, uh, we should monitor uh, uh, acidotic status uh, uh, carefully. Uh, there is a study shows malformation of the vertebral bodies in rabbit, but no human data are available. There is one um, uh, study by OSHA Metal uh, have shown that uh, there, it's a case report actually. Neuros neonatal sacrococcyal teratoma is seen with the oral acetazolamide use. Uh, but again, in the contrary, uh, another study done by Henneman have shown that uh, there is no major um, uh, fetal anomaly or minor anomaly in 1024 pregnant patients when they are given oral uh, CIs. So in the uh, later uh, stage of pregnancy, if we are using oral acetosolamides, uh, we have to be cautious about neonatal uh, electrolyte imbalance. Prostaglandin analogs uh, uh, have shown a higher, uh, highest incidence of miscarriage in animal studies, but uh, the, it is debatable actually the, how much percentage of uh, drug is going uh, into the system. Uh, meiotics uh, can cause uh, cholinergic uh, uh, side effects uh, like neonatal hyperthermia, restlessness, seizure, diaphoresis, and it can cause uh, uh, it can show uh, uh, mimic the signs of meningitis in uh, uh, pregnant women. Oral hyperosmotics, uh, known animal studies are yet reported, and uh, uh, human trials are not done, so there is a questionable uh, risk. Newer drugs like uh, rock inhibitors like uh, or uh, latinoprostol budot have uh, shown theoretical risk of stalled labor and should be avoided, avoided in the peripartum period if possible. So ideal management would be uh, first line of uh, treatment uh, should be bimonidine in uh, first uh, trimester and second trimester should be discontinued in the third trimester just before labor. And uh, from second trimester onwards, we can give timolol and uh, carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. PG analog should be given with caution obviously, can uh, has shown uh, to uh, uh, induce labor in uh, uh, animal models. And uh, if we are not uh, sure of using uh, medical treatments, we can offer SLTs or, or uh, laser trabecular plastic also. And uh, if we are using these uh, drugs, these things should be monitored. In beta blockers, the fetal heart rate should be monitored. Bradycardia can happen. Alpha agonist, uh, can, uh, we have to see the fetal growth monitoring. PG analogs, we have to watch for pre uh, premature labor. And uh, oral or topical CI, we have to uh, monitor the growths of the uh, fetus. 
in uh, lactation uh, there are two drugs which definitely cross uh, uh, which uh, definitely transfer uh, through human breast milk is brimonidine and uh, uh, beta alpha 2 agonist and beta blockers and others are unknown uh, beta uh, brimonidine should uh, alpha 2 agonist should not be used in lactating mothers because it can cause serious depression in uh, uh, the neonates uh, cais can be used uh, with uh, punctal occlusion uh, coming to the pediatric patients, uh, there are two major uh, group of glaucomas, the pre primary glaucomas and the secondary glaucomas. The main treatment of primary glaucomas is surgical. So we have to just give the uh, medicines for uh, buying some time, but the main treatment is surgical. So we are not worried about uh, that thing, but for secondary glaucoma, there is a group of secondary glaucoma which can happen in pediatric age group and main treatment is uh, medical. So in pediatric paired, uh, pediatric group, beta blockers are widely used, uh, but uh, it should be avoid, uh, avoided in uh, premature babies or if the baby have some uh, restrictive airway disease or asthma or uh, some known cardiac disease, in those cases, it should be uh, avoided. Alpha-2 agonist is strictly contraindicated. It causes uh, CNS depression and apnea. There are case reports that the baby has gone to uh, coma in 30 to 60 minutes uh, of use of uh, um, alpha-2 agonist. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are widely used. Uh, it has good tolerability, but it is in, uh, contraindicated in post-PK patients. And uh, oral CAIs uh, in uh, children have uh, uh, side effects like uh, it uh, can cause respiratory alcoholysis or tachypnea and uh, PG analogs are uh, relatively safe but uh, asthma is exacerbation can be there with increased inflammatory mediator and uh, there can be PAP changes like uh, periorbital uh, atrophic uh, periorbital can be happen uh, can happen in AFK glaucomas, meiotics can be uh, given, but the cholinergic side effects, we have to always uh, remember the diarrhea, GI cramping, hypotension, headache, salivation, syncope, all these things you have to uh, uh, remember. So fixed drug combination is always preferable if uh, required because uh, there is less preservative and laser side effect. And uh, CAI and beta blocker combinations are uh, first choice and we can use PG analogs also. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Basu, for a wonderful compilation of the drugs used in pregnancy, lactation, and pediatric group, which are very important. But in all the cases, we should advocate how to use the punctal block.